Hello and uh, welcome back to Ross Taylor Woodworks. Uh, this time I've got the uh, Windsor chair uh, from the Glenburn cleanup. Um, got a little free time, I'm going to fiddle with this a little bit. Uh, it's got a couple of broken spindles. Um, the arms are loose, uh, the top is loose here. Uh, I'm just going to try to put it uh, back together as best I can. Uh, make a couple of spindles, maybe even just repair these spindles if possible. In the end I'll probably just uh, paint this black. Uh, it's going to be for resale. So I think it'll look really nice painted black. Uh, we're going to have some repairs here. Uh, it'll be easier to blend in if it's all painted. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. I'm just going to try to do as quick a repair as possible. Uh, get this back together and uh, get ready for a resale. Um, could take a long time to sell. It's probably not worth you know, spending a whole lot of time on. Uh, the only good thing about this chair is the seat is in perfect condition. Um, I wouldn't have even uh, picked this up at the cleanup if the seat was damaged at all. It would have cost way, way too much to uh, repair the seat. All right, the first thing I have to do is get the back rail off. Uh, there's a separate back rail here that uh, screws on. Now there's some screws right here, uh, but right here there's a, a plug or a dowel. So I'm going to drill in and see if there's a screw or anything in there. Nope, it feels like there's a dowel. So we're just going to drill out that dowel. And same thing on the other side. And we'll get the screws out. They're not the original screws. It seems to be hung up on one dowel on the other side there. So I'm just going to take a chisel and chop off the dowel. Now I'll get the screws out of the arms. So once again, these are not the original screws. And just take the whole uh, rail off. Now there's a couple broken uh, spindles. I'm just going to file those flush. Now I'm going to take a 5 16 inch drill and get the drill started and then use the other holes as a guide to match the angle of the hole. And just drill out the broken spindle. Now this one uh, spindle is split so I'm going to replace it. So there's actually two spindles I'm going to replace. I'll just look on the other side and I can match it up the length of the one on the opposite side. And the quickest way to make these spindles is just to cut some square stock. In this case, a 5 8 inch square and then just round it off in the belt sander. Now it's tapered from top to bottom. So I've got two calipers set up so I can match the uh, diameter at the top and another set of calipers for the di diameter at the bottom. Then just finish it off with some 100 grit paper. Now I've got that back rail in the vise and I'm going to chop off that broken spindle. Then take a 5 8 inch drill bit and redrill the hole. Once again, holding the drill at an angle, matching the angle of the spindles. Now on the right hand side, a one spindle was broken off right below the rail. So what we're going to do here is do a V cut and use one of the broken spindles to make a patch to extend the spindle up. It only needs to extend about a half an inch. Now when I was making the V-cut, the uh, spindle actually split, so I'm just going to get some glue in that split. Then just glue the extension onto the spindle, and then put a clamp on it. OK, 
Okay, I've got the back rail uh, dry fit in place, and I'm going to mark the length of the spindles. And also the two new spindles. Now the one on the right side here, I'm going to take the oscillating saw and just trim it off. Then just file it to the right shape. It has to be tapered down. Now I've got the whole backrest uh, dry fit in place. And I just have to glue the one arm into place. So I have to carefully uh, pull that apart without uh, getting the spindles to pop out. But of course they uh, pop out. Now you've got to get it all back together. Took a lot of fiddling to get the whole backrest lined up and get the spindles in. The opposite arm uh, did not need to be re-glued. Now I fit the rail in, I just uh, put some temporary screws to hold the arms in place. Now I'm going to put a permanent wood screw in. Uh, the same thing on the back rail, I just put some temporary screws in for fit up. Now I'm going to put in the permanent wood screws. Now I'm going to replace the dowels on the end. I'm going to drill it out with a 3 8 inch drill bit. On the back rail, I used some wood filler to fill in the holes. And on the arms, I used uh, some 5 8 plugs. And I'm going to sand everything flush. And I'm not concerned about the finish on the chair, because I'm going to be painting the chair. Then I'm going to go over the whole chair with some 100 grit paper. Now when assembling the back rail, it was very fiddly getting all these spindles lined up. So I elected not to take the whole back rail apart and uh, put wood glue in. So I just decided just to clamp it dry and then I'm going to glue it afterwards. I'm going to use some cyanoacrylate glue and glue the spindles. All right, now down in the finishing room, I went ahead and put some shellac on the seat, about six coats. Now there's a couple little dark spots there, but I don't think it looks too bad. And I'm gonna start masking off the seat so I can paint the chair. All right, now I've got the seat masked off, both on the top and the bottom. Now I'm gonna spray some black paint. I first sealed those new spindles with some shellac and any other uh, bare spots Okay, I'm done uh, spraying the black paint. Then I went over the chair with uh, 320 gold paper and kind of rubbed through the edges and uh, distressed the paint a little bit. Followed up with the maroon pad and then tacked off the dust. Now I'm gonna follow up with the clear satin acrylic. All right, there we go. We got this uh, done. Uh, it didn't take too long to fix up. 
Like I said, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time on it. I uh, just did some simple repair to the top here. A uh, couple of new uh, spindles. Repaired one spindle. Uh, it's pretty much invisible. And just basically got it back together. Um, finished the seat. I put some shellac in the seat uh, to make it look older. And to hide a couple of stains that were in the middle here. And I think it did a good job of hiding those stains. They kind of just kind of disappeared. And did a uh, distressed black paint. And I think it came out fantastic.